It's our 200th episode and you get all the presents. How is that fair? A very orange Aston Martin Roadster, a BMW with benefits, and a lighter, faster Porsche Cayman could be on the way. I'm Andrea Fetchko. I'm Derek D. And I'm Ji Young Min, and this is Fastlane Daily. Light up a cigar. Whether you're an international man of mystery or an ambiguously gay piano player from the 50s, Aston Martin has your roadster. It's the flashy barbecue orange V8 Vantage N400, and it's the open air sibling to the N400 Coupe, or Coupe, if there's a queen on your lunch money. The N400 was unveiled at the Frankfurt Auto Show earlier this year. The Roadster version will share the same 4.3 liter V8 producing 400 horsepower. Buyers with track day aspirations can get either one of the orange Astons with a sports package that includes a stiffer suspension. Aston says it's only building 250 units of the N400. Most of those are going to hardcore collectors and all in metallic safety vest orange. You picked it, we report it. Here's one fresh from the Fastlane Daily News feed. BMW tuning shop AC Schnitzer can't leave well enough alone. The company says it's set to unveil a tweaked version of the BMW M3. Of course, they're keeping BMW fans in the dark. All we know is the full schnitzerization includes a body kit, wheels, suspension upgrades, and a few pricey performance mods to be named later. German heavy metal singer Udo Dirk Schneider is not included. Toyota says it's serious about giving the next Prius a plug-in option, but only if the car buyers want it. Reuters reports Toyota is studying demand for a version of the Prius that could be recharged at a standard electrical outlet and run on electrical power only. The study will reportedly take three years and 50,000 miles. Whichever comes first. Next up, the new hotness from Porsche and our viewers take over FLD with video submissions after this. First 200, want to see another 200? Tell your friends. Yep, subscribe to FLD right now, wherever you're watching us. YouTube, on Street Fire, VO, MySpace, the list goes on. We're there. Now, you know what, Andrea and Derek, some fans of the mid-engine Porsche came and say the company's being stingy with the horsepower. That they say because Porsche doesn't want buyers to forget the 911 is the real race car in its lineup. But a new spy photo hints at a new King of the Hill Cayman in the works. Spies caught Porsche engineers testing a Cayman model fitted with a roll cage and drawn down headlights. That set off a firestorm of speculation that Porsche could be building a club sport model, a Cayman RS, some say. That means a lighter, faster, more track-worthy version. No word yet from Porsche, but we'll keep our dorky driving shoes shined up just in case. In acknowledgement of this, our 200th episode, we'd like to thank you, our viewers, for your support and great comments. Also, extra special thanks to our distribution partners for getting Fastlane Daily to you fresh every day. And extra, extra special thanks to our viewers who, in honor of episode 200, have provided us with these very special viewer submissions. See ya. Roll the video. Board hosts plan parenthood meetings, China buys Mexico, and Fastlane Daily does its 200th episode. What's up everyone, I'm Brian B, and this is Carpool Lane Daily. All of us here at Studio GT want to congratulate Fastlane on turning 200. We want to say good luck, keep it up, and Derek, stop talking about your dumb cobalt. No one cares anymore. What's up Fastlane Daily, this is Lo Chong. I just want to congratulate you on your 200th episode. Everybody at Next New Networks are doing a great job. Gotta get out of here. Keep up the good work. Peace. Happy 200th episode. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. Uh, that, that yeah.